Have you ever heard the saying, the devil is in the details? When it comes to our food, sometimes it's the little things that add up to our meal either providing us health or harm. And for many of us, we don't always think about hidden calories or the glycemic index when it comes to our sauces and condiments. After all, an otherwise low-calorie meal or healthy salad can become a calorie overload or a glycemic nightmare just by adding the wrong sauce. But the good news is, if you're diabetic, you don't necessarily have to give up your favorite condiments and sauces. You just need to know which are the best sauces to keep blood sugar balanced and ensure optimum health. That's why we're about to reveal the five worst and the five best sauces for diabetics. But first, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. And stick around, because in just a few minutes, we'll show you how to grab two free gifts on us. Plus, stay tuned to the end of this vid to learn how to create a nutritious and incredibly delicious sauce recipe you can whip up in no time flat. Right now, let's stir it up with the five worst and best sauces for diabetics. So, when it comes to your sauces, the real problem may be that it's not always easy to tell which are nutritious and which are secretly loaded with sugar or excessive quantities of salt. And while certain sauces or dressings might be packaged as low fat or low sugar, that usually means they'll be stuffed with chemicals and preservatives to stretch the shelf life and improve the taste. Later in this video, we'll look at the top five best sauces for diabetics. But first, let's talk about those bad sauces. Some may shock you. The five worst sauces for diabetics. Number five, ketchup. This one is trickier than it first appears. You may believe that ketchup, derived from tomatoes, is healthy. After all, it can be a good source of the antioxidant lycopene. But practically every packaged ketchup is sweetened with high fructose corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup is a sweetening agent, which is created from simple sugars. These sugars will be broken down in quick fashion inside your body, and thus can cause dangerous blood sugar spikes. And while most packaged varieties of ketchup may not be very high in fat, and one tablespoon contains just 20 calories, the carb content, aka added sugar, is extremely high. Just one tablespoon of most ketchups will contain 4.5 grams of carbohydrate, but barely any fiber. And remember, this is not natural sugar found within tomatoes. This is added sugar, a main culprit behind the current diabetes and obesity epidemics. The recommended added sugar daily allotment for men is 36 grams, and for women, it's just 25 grams, which means that just a few extra dips into that ketchup could send you over the line. Number four, liquid aminos. This one isn't loaded with sugar or calories, but it's bad for another reason, sodium. Liquid aminos is a less salted alternative to soy sauce, but that doesn't mean that it's much better. While a typical liquid aminos brand can contain about 685 milligrams of sodium in a tablespoon instead of the 1000 milligrams you might find in soy sauce, that's still 29% of your daily sodium allowance in just one tablespoon. Be very careful when choosing lower sugar or sodium alternatives. Lower doesn't mean it's in the healthy range, it's just lower than those very unhealthy versions. Which leads us to number three, soy sauce. If liquid aminos are quote unquote bad, it must follow that soy sauce is even, um, more bad. It's a tricky one. Soy sauce won't typically impact blood glucose levels because it doesn't contain much, if any, carbohydrate content. That makes most soy sauce varieties actually quite low calorie. So far, so good. Until we look once more at that sodium content. And we're talking about a lot of sodium. As we've already mentioned, soy sauce has 1000 milligrams of sodium per tablespoon. 
which is important because excessive salt intake can have a negative impact on blood pressure. This can be especially concerning for diabetics, as coronary heart disease is on a continuum with diabetes. To put it into perspective, a small packet of soy sauce still contains a third of the recommended daily sodium allotment. Number two, store-bought Italian balsamic or vinaigrette style dressings. On one hand, salad dressing is good if it encourages you to eat more salad. Dressing really dresses up a meal, right? But just be careful. When it comes to these dressings, you probably think you're eating healthy when they may actually be extremely hazardous, especially for a diabetic. Oil and vinegar-based dressings can be very healthy, especially if you make them from scratch. However, commercial versions of these products might look healthy, but they can also be full of vegetable oil, sugar, corn syrup, and caramel color. And watch out for those fat-free or sugar-free versions. One seemingly healthy example is a typical brand name fat-free sun-dried tomato vinaigrette, which can contain 14 grams of sugar per serving. Plus, some packaged brands call themselves a vinaigrette when they're actually vinaigrette style and secretly high in calories. A bottle labeled as balsamic vinaigrette sounds like a great option, but certain varieties can still contain over 100 calories, 3 grams of sugar, and 1,500 milligrams of sodium per serving. That equals 65% of your recommended daily salt intake in just two tablespoons. Now, let's discover potentially the most unhealthy sauce on the market. Number one, creamy store-bought salad dressings. What could be less healthy than a packaged vinaigrette dressing? Try, or maybe don't try, creamy varieties of store-bought salad dressing. Store-bought dressings, especially those creamy salad dressings, are often created with corn syrup, preservatives, sodium, and other potentially dangerous chemicals, especially when the dressing is labeled low-fat, low-sugar, or low-calorie. Food corporations may take out some fat or sugar, but they still want you to find their product tasty enough to come back for more. So if a dressing is advertised as low-fat, that most likely means the food company has added in extra sugar. If you see a dressing labeled as low-sugar, Check the ingredients list because chances are you'll find that it's been packed with extra fat content. And even without these underhanded advertising techniques, most any store-bought salad dressing will contain high levels of unhealthy chemical preservatives so that they can safely sit on store shelves for months at a time. This means that they won't spoil quickly, but they may raise your risk of certain forms of cancer. Another problem for packaged salad dressing comes into play once it's on your dinner table. If you've purchased a dressing that looks healthy according to the nutrition label, you should still pay very close attention to the serving size. That's because most people tend to pour more than the two tablespoon portion listed on most labels. Just two tablespoons of ranch dressing has 145 calories, 15 grams of fat, 328 milligrams of sodium, and two grams of carbohydrate. You might be able to manage that, but it's surprisingly easy to accidentally add over two tablespoons of dressing to your otherwise healthy salad. Some of the worst creamy salad dressings include Catalina dressing for the high sugar content, blue cheese dressing, for the high fat content, creamy Caesar dressing, for the high salt and fat content, country or creamy French dressing, for its high sugar content. So when it comes to store-bought creamy salad dressings, before you buy, check the nutrition information, and before you pour, be mindful of your portions. So as you can see, there's a lot to avoid out there, but don't let that get you down. To make healthy choices, look at the nutrition label on the back of food packaging, not just those often misleading claims on the front. From there, you can start making healthier choices when it comes to your sauces and dressings. We're about to reveal five of the best choices for diabetics when it comes to sauces. But first, it's time for those two free gifts. Explore a world of nutritious and delicious food options with superfoods for diabetics. 
and watch exclusive interviews with some of the world's leading medical and nutritional professionals in episode one of that diabetes documentary. To get both gifts, simply click the link in the description below. And now, let's discover the five best sauces for diabetics. Number five, avocado sauce. Avocados are low in carbs, low in cholesterol, have little effect on blood sugar, and even help increase insulin sensitivity. They're a great choice for diabetics because they're also high in fiber, while many other high fiber foods tend to also be high carb foods. So this low carb, high fiber combo is hard to beat. Plus, avocados contain healthy HDL cholesterol, which can help clear that bad LDL cholesterol from the body, reducing the risk of heart attack and stroke. You might like avocado slices in your salad, but if you're not a fan of them plain, you can make them into a sauce. You can even hide the flavor because avocado sauce tends to pick up the flavor of spices and other foods. Making creamy avocado sauce is easy. Simply mash an avocado and sour cream, add a little lime juice, and flavor with a variety of spices, like cumin or cayenne pepper. The sour cream may add fat and calories, so you can opt to simply mash an avocado. But using just a bit of sour cream should still keep this delicious dip safely in the health zone. Number four, vinegar and vinaigrettes. Vinegar is low in calories and carbohydrates, with no salt or fat content, and when used in moderation, is considered a free food within the glycemic index. Dipping whole grain bread into balsamic vinegar can even lessen the glycemic effect of the bread. Vinaigrettes are basically a combination of extra virgin olive oil and red wine vinegar or apple cider vinegar. Extra virgin olive oil is considered to be possibly the healthiest cooking oil available, as it contains healthy monounsaturated fats and antioxidants, which can help your body fight inflammation, obesity, cancer, and diabetes. Red wine and apple cider vinegars carry amazing health benefits as well, as studies have shown that they have the ability to lower blood sugar levels, reduce heart disease risk, and can help with weight loss. So homemade vinaigrettes without added sugars or preservatives can be a great choice the next time you need a healthy sauce. They add complex flavors to salads, veggies, fish, and can even be used to create delicious meat marinades. You can find many different healthy varieties and flavors in stores, but just remember, many store-bought vinaigrette brands are full of sugar. Luckily, it's incredibly quick and easy to customize an amazing assortment of vinaigrettes from the comfort of your own kitchen. Number three, pesto sauce. As we've already mentioned, extra virgin olive oil is a great base for creating healthy dressings and sauces. Pesto is one of the most delicious and nutritious olive oil-based dressings, and it's surprisingly easy to whip up at home. Basic pesto has just five ingredients, basil, pine nuts, garlic, olive oil, and Parmesan cheese. Basil is a good source of the ever-important omega-3 fatty acids. It also provides beneficial vitamins A, C, and K. Pine nuts provide healthy protein, fiber, and cancer-fighting antioxidants. Garlic has been shown to lower blood pressure and reduce the risk of heart disease. And Parmesan is considered to be among the healthier dairy options as well. It's a good source of calcium, which strengthens bones and can aid digestion. Therefore, the combination of health benefits within these ingredients combine to make pesto a perfect flavor and nutrition option for your next sauce. Number two, mustard. Our number two condiment, whole grain mustard, is low in carbs and fat. Whole grain mustard contains, of course, mustard seeds, and these seeds are loaded with nutrients. They'll give you a good supply of magnesium, selenium, and fiber. Studies have revealed that mustard can help lower blood pressure, aid digestion, and can even help speed up your metabolism. Plus, mustard contains a good amount of glucosinolates, antioxidant compounds which can fight cancer cell growth. Just try to go for the whole grain variety, rather than those highly processed yellow varieties. While those mustards may offer some of the same health benefits, certain brand name selections can contain significant amounts of added sugar and other unhealthy chemicals. However, 
if you find a less processed yellow mustard, you can still gain some great health benefits. Yellow mustard includes beneficial turmeric, one of the most nutritionally dense spices available. Plus, yellow mustard contains mono and polyunsaturated fats, which can help lower LDL cholesterol. And now, it's time for our number one condiment for diabetics. And pretty much anyone, for that matter. Number one, salsa. This delicious veggie topping has so many varieties that you're sure to find at least a few that will please you and your family. You might like salsa verde, made with tomatillos, or pico de gallo, made with fresh tomatoes. Most salsas are low calorie, low carbohydrate, and low sodium, unless you choose to add a large helping of salt yourself or buy a store-bought brand which may contain added sugar and other unhealthy chemicals. But homemade salsa gives you the option of including a variety of nutritious ingredients, including, of course, tomatoes, plus bell peppers, chili peppers, onions, garlic, cumin, cilantro, and lime juice. Mango and pineapple salsas have become popular tropical treats in recent years. You can even try making a ceviche-style salsa, which can include nutritious whitefish, avocado, and cucumber. Added together, most any combination of salsa ingredients will give you good amounts of vitamin C, potassium, folate, iron, an array of antioxidants, and, naturally, fiber. Importantly, unprocessed salsa is generally low calorie and contains zero fat or added sugar. Plus, the high water content of the tomato base will add extra hydration to your day. And salsa can top an incredible assortment of dishes. So, ditch the chips and instead add salsa on eggs, salad, fish, chicken, and in your veggie wraps. And speaking of wraps, this wraps up our list for the five worst and best sauces for diabetics. But don't leave just yet. As promised, here's one quick and easy sauce you can whip up right now. Here's how to make your very own pesto sauce. Into a food processor, add two cups of fresh basil leaves, two tablespoons of pine nuts, or if they're just a bit too pricey, you can use walnuts, and two or three medium to large garlic cloves. Start blending these first ingredients, and as it's mixing, slowly drizzle in half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. After the oil is blended, add in half a cup of grated Parmesan and continue blending until the cheese is mixed through. You can season with salt and pepper to taste, and that's it. Now you've got a healthy and delicious homemade pesto sauce, which can make its way into plenty of delicious and nutritious meals. Don't forget to click the link in the description below to grab both free gifts. Also, do us a quick favor by liking this vid and subscribing to our channel. We're Diabetes Smarts. Stay tuned for more key insights on how you can fight back against obesity and diabetes. Thanks for watching. We hope you're having a happy and healthy day.